Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Phoenix Point Legendary Blind playthrough where I'm still trying to survive in the harsh environment of a virus overrun world. We have 76% of the population still alive and our prime team is off to attack another Pandorian lair. We want to get, of course, more mutagen because that is how we build more of uh, the um, free ber berserking beasts that are uh, being stationed in our bases. And in the meantime, let's think about what we do with the group. So, more speed seems like something that is a good idea for Pauly. Then we do have Ian the Butcher Owens which I think for him more strength is the way to go. Inappropriate Murphy needs another round of uh, of collecting points. So almost we need more willpower here but we also need more speed. And more points. All right, more strength. Shattered Realm needs the hit points. And ranks, I think. Last time I checked, we needed more strength as well and a bit more speed. Oh yeah, we lost, um, I remember, we lost a, neuro, a neuralizer, so... Let's get that one back. Good, Grell. There we go. Now it makes sense. Okay, cool. Ready, steady, go. We landed. Time to destroy another spawnery. How many of these things will get up? It feels like whenever we're killing one, <clears throat> two new ones arrive. Oh, and we got ourselves another friend over here. Well, hello there. Good, we're dashing over. Need to kill the sentinel. Drinks. Backs up his body. Butcherones. Moves up and time to hammer home. go okay let's take a bit of this and there's actual good loot in there Legit good loot. Um, okay, a few worms that are going to come to us. In the meantime, let us pick up more loot. That and 
that and a grenade seems reasonable. Okay, moving up. Uh, so much good loot. Sanctifier. And there is even more loot. Okay. Okay, next up, boiler to take more loot. Yeah, Dilly G unfortunately doesn't have any room in his inventory. Nope. And JP Pauly. Good. End of turn. Okay. Um I wonder what the best way of doing this is going to be. Potentially charging all the way over here. Grell. Um, Grell can't be mind controlled. Moves to here. War cries. And moves back. Dashes. I mean, Dash is a strong ability, specifically with a high speed. Good. Two of them are already paralyzed. It's a matter of dealing with 
uh, the siren. Besides, whilst we're here, I think everybody should get some extra armor. Polly moves up. And yeah, let's just give everybody electrical reinforcements. Fifty-four armor. Okay. Sounds legit. Good. Two hits. Now off to another dash. One. Two. Three. Murphy's trying to keep up with everyone else. Four. Five. Sucks to use that much willpower, but... In return, she's completely down. Yeah, we charged in, got three of them, and quite figuratively massacred them. Okay. Uh, Ian moves here. One, two, three. Four. That's 12 rounds. The guy's never going to wake up. One. Two. Also 10 plus rounds. Moving up. Good. 10 rounds. Move up. One. Two. Three. 
we are recovering willpower over here. Good. That's another 15 plus rounds worth of willpower, uh, worth of stunning. Polly moves up. Nope. Yes. One, two, three. Done. Very good. Soon we need to rehaste, but that will happen in the next turn. Are recovering. Damn it, we're unbelievably overloaded already. Drinks moves up. I wish we could get, uh, get more stuff, but we can't. Where is the exit, by the way? Oh, it's here. We went into the complete different direction. I think the spawnery might be right there. Good, where's the spawnery? I just found it. Yeah, it is right there. Hey, strange map layout. frenzied and an appropriate Murphy decides to move up Ian moves up The realm begins to move up. Luckily, we're moving fast. All right, interesting. We got two. Creatures that can potentially cause a lot of problems with their artillery that they are throwing. Good, end of turn. Yeah, we're 
we're not going to collect all of the worms. This is not going to happen. Instead, what I want to do is we're doing this. And that. And that. And that. It's a bit of a will point refill also. Shadow Realm moves over. One, two, three. Dashing one, two, three. Euler moves up. We're taking the easy route here, aka just send over actions. up I think we're just getting some extra reinforcements that is never wrong And Dilly begins to move up. <coughs> oh boy, these guys will require a lot of ammunition. Slash a lot of moving there and hitting them.
lots and lots and lots of worms. I tell you what, how about we're trying this for the first time. Cool. I think all worms just died. One, two, three. Hands over more actions and then finds himself oh, come on frustrated for yet again missing. Grab something and next turn we'll destroy the spawnery. So far that worked out well. Thirteen, twenty, twenty-seven, thirty-four. And we're over watching. Ranks begins to move up so that he can help over here. And off. Okay. Plenty of worms.
So. Same deal as the last time. We're moving up. Everybody gets willpower back. Good, and we should be full on willpower again. These guys will be out of commission for so long, it doesn't even matter. Moving closer in the direction of the exit. Continuing, four, five, and slowly moving away. Drinks moves up as well. Next turn we're going to get this guy. Is he going to prepare screaming? Uh, didn't want to do that, but... Okay, adrenaline rush. Looking at what? 124 hit points. That won't be a kill unless. Of course, unless. We're going to shoot again.
B-sides. Um, uh, can we somehow get more actions over to Shattered Realm? Likely not. I can go in next turn and kill uh, kill the worms. That will refresh our uh, willpower on everyone again. Okay. It feels that the setup of this map here is particularly long. Normally there's always a chance to at least shortcut it a little bit. Not this time. This time it very much feels like you have to grind through all of it. That's three down. There we go. Now, where where have we been? Oh yeah. Right, we want to paralyze you. Okay, we got company. in between <clears throat> another two zaps just for good measure bit of a war scream Continue to harass this guy. And eventually he will go down. Okay, so cool. That solves most of our problems. Now 
it's only the spawnery that's left. And I think for what we're trying to do... The turrets are the best choice, just the damage again as a stationary target is phenomenal. Good, Grell moves up. Now we have one more problem over here. But other than that, we should be fine. It is a bit of a bigger problem though. Okay, moving up. Disable the arm. And we just killed her, I think. Pretty sure we killed her. Which means Ian the Butcher will get free. And start hitting that last guy next turn. All right, Euler. <laughs> Euler starts taking away actions by already paralyzing him. <laughs> Why is the control sometimes messed up? Game, please behave. Okay, retrieve turret. In a 
Prophet Murphy stays exactly there. And JP Pauly already moves towards the exit. Very good, end of turn. Stilling Frenzy. And let's begin to charge. There's even more loot towards the exit. Oh my lord. begins to move towards the exit as well. She's unfortunately dazed and therefore can't really move that far. stops moving. because we were not adjacent. Good. So topping everyone off. I think we're doing reasonably well. The three big ones should really give us a lot of mutagen. Murphy moves up, does not have the will points to shout again. Ian will shout next turn, so we're fine. Well, that is even more mutagens that we could, uh, these are even more mutagens that we could get. Polly can already move to the exit.
Okay, grow. Sprints up. If he can carry a couple of these items. Let me help you by loading them into your backpack. Thank you. Murphy is done done. Just picking up whatever is available. Not only did we succeed and get a lot of um, diplomatic uh, rewards out of uh, out of this, I think it, uh, it was a large hive, so we're getting a lot of rewards. No, on top of that, we also get mutagens because we. We're capturing at least three big artilleries, maybe even more than that. And like half a dozen of the smaller ones, including sirens and you name it. But on top of that, because it's not enough, we also get loot. This was a very successful mission. Maybe purely from a mission perspective, the single most rewarding mission in terms of everything that we've gotten out of it. Not sure yet, but we're going to see it. Definitely was a banger of a mission. So, 600, 500 XP. Look at that loot. Sanctifier Magazines, Fury Missile. We got a spider gun. We got a nice little Sanctifier itself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're not talking about small ones this time. We're talking about really large, massive, big aliens. So. We were at 500, so we already got 600 uh, in mutagens. Just from the crates that we harvested. And after putting all of these guys into the mutagen shredder. Two thousand mutagens. One mission. Two thousand mutagens. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Plus we got even more friendliness from the Sanhedrins. There's another hive over here. One that we soon need to do. Before then, I guess, flying back over to the US and doing this mission here, the Time Vault. Well, that's not bad. In terms of next base where we would want to put 
where we would want to put one of uh, these good odds in. They're looking stunningly good. I would want to play with one of them. South America is one of the bases and Antarctica and West Africa. Construction complete. Okay. Fort uh, Bellona once again is under attack. I wonder if it is all if they are always attacking the area where I'm anyway is flying to has been like that for a few times now. Oh yeah, well, uh, yet another defense. I've, I almost forgot about that. Gotta do this defense, <laughs> and then we gotta do this defense, and then we gotta do this hit the death. Oh boy, why is this game torturing you with uh, that many missions? I mean, it is enjoyable, but it gets repetitive, and I, without this, uh, potentially this mission is one way forward. But other than that, I mean, all it says is Command Fortress needs to be researched. Okay, I can do that, but there is still quite a bit of research in the queue. And I want to know if I'm missing something. And just because this sets Command Fortress doesn't mean that that ends the game. There are a couple of, there were like dozens of missions here that had nothing to do with really pro uh, progressing anything besides maybe side storylines and so on and so forth. So, in terms of manufacturing, 125, yes, good but only 112 crystals so we can't get the new melee weapon yet the skyther but we're going to get that soon and as soon as we got uh, protein uh, gas i want to get another one of these massive grenade launchers they are super good Shotgun, we'll, we'll definitely build one of uh, these as well. Simply because they are good... Uh, good damage against large creatures. And Scorpion, that we will need three times. Which won't be too much of a, a problem. Funnily enough, if you build uh, melee Skyther plus the rocket launcher, that equally taxes all of the three materials potentially by design um what are we dealing with 16 versus 11 and we get a few rewards so that's not too bad i think that's good the the attacks overall by the way to me appear quite random so there hadn't been any more attacks ever since we uh, expanded. It seems it's always two uh, different uh, two different locations are being attacked anywhere, and then you just need to fly there fast enough. Uh, I still don't understand why the population is shrinking despite us trying really, really hard. But okay. 
I that's potentially part of the game and just from the expansion of the mist repeller which was a technology that we built very very early in the game to me it appears that uh, there is not there's still a little bit of game ahead of us like look at that Phoenix Point which was the first to get the mist repeller are still very much trying uh, to uh, yeah repel the mist and some of the bases like West Africa for instance haven't even started Good news though, this time we do have Sinidran as uh, one of our potential parties that we need to defend. And with that, our diplomacy score should go up a bit. Maybe even going closer and closer to the sweet, sweet hundred. Yeah. It seems uh, pretty much that that is the end of this episode. We have two defenses and then a hive uh, that is next on our agenda and a few archaeology labs in 18 hours that, uh, that will happen. Potentially propelling this year to over 50 per, I don't know, day? Le likely day, yeah. Um... Maybe we will need even uh, need to even build more. We need 250 each for two uh, melee weapons and two grenade launchers, which I want to get. And then it's three snipers, which is another 150. So we're looking overall at 400, which would be eight days at a rate of 50. So not too bad, but it's it's a sizable amount of time still wondering if i was to build more archaeology labs so we're currently having six more on the way that is 20 by itself Hmm. Yeah, it would I guess it would still be worth it. We just need a lot of archaeology labs if we want to get the weapons because it just takes a lot of time to get the material. I'll build more and more as I see fit. Europe still has plenty of um, space there. We need more materials, but I think... Um, no, unfortunately we ha don't have any more antediluvian runes. They always gave a thousand materials, which was a nice benefit. Yeah, I guess we'll just need to trade for materials and see how we're going to go about it. I could theoretically again um, capture aliens, uh, harvest them for food. It's not as much as uh, the mutagens, but it is a fair amount. So instead of 2000 mutagens, say it would have been potentially 1500 uh, food, but that is um, still substantial. And then we essentially just trade out of food the entire time and uh, try to get the other resources up and running. Because purely from a manufacturing standpoint, we do have three of uh, these bad boys in queue. Could get a fourth one, and I think then we have one on in each base. Really what I need, what I'm waiting for, is this here. So we need as many antediluvian um, archaeology runes as possible. So that'll be the name of the game. If we're capturing further aliens, I think we're just going to use them for food at this point. 
for now that seems like a reasonable idea just being stable and then yeah trading into the other two uh, materials and technology okay cool guys if you want to trade something trade a bit of attention for a like uh, that uh, would help the channel quite a bit and i see you in two days take care bye bye